What's up, everybody? It's Psych3S23 coming at you one more time from the kitchen table in my apartment in Orlando. <clears throat> like six more days, I'm back in New York. I'm not going to make another video until I get back home just because I have really nothing special to show you here anymore. Everything else is just kind of whatever. Um, but when I get home, I'm going to have a bunch of new pickups. I know there's at least like two pairs waiting for me when I get home, so I'll make a video of all that crap when I get home. Uh, but today I just wanted to show you guys like an amazing pair that I got custom for me. Now I got down to Orlando about like four months ago in January of 2012 and I met an artist, like a really sick artist. Her name is Hannah. And when I met her, she was wearing a pair of like you know, like authentic bands, all white, that she had drawn on and like customized herself. And I saw it and I was like, yo, you have to do this for me. Like, you have to do it. She didn't charge me anything. Like, I went out and I think I like grabbed her lunch or something one day, but like, it was nothing. Like, they came out sick and she didn't want any money for it. I just got like a pair of, before I came down to Orlando, I got a pair of just like Vans, low chuckas, like they're kind of like low mid top looking Vans, but I got them just because I wanted whites and I did because I didn't want to bring like, you know, ones or something like that down here. Plus I didn't have a lot of room in my luggage. So like, yeah, she made these for me and like, I'll show you one shoe first because it's not the same. Like... That's the inside of the left shoe. Like, right there alone, the whole checkerboard pattern is insane. Like, I'm in love with these. You have no idea. All right, that's the back. <clears throat> D, one of my initials. Uh, like, the thing with her bands that, like, her bands were a little more, like, feminine customized, so I was hoping she wouldn't do that with mine, and she didn't at all. She, like, killed these. Right there, it says Return of the Mouse, like a Jedi Mickey hands. Like, just like the little detailing on, like, the Death Star, or I think that's what it's called. And, like, just the little stars and everything on that side. I, this probably is not my favorite part of all the shoes, but, like, that's crazy. And then you got the, in, the Runaway Brain Mickey. It looks like he's, you know crack attic or something, I don't know. And then, you know, since that's like that, she did the runaway brain on the tongue. That was the left shoe, I'll show you the right in a minute. But, it, like, being a sneakerhead, like, everyone wants something that sets them apart from everything else, like, everybody else. These... Like, I know for a fact nobody else in the world is going to have sneakers like this. Like, nobody. Unless, like, you know, somebody watches this video and they try to customize theirs the same way. But it's tough because these are crazy. And I'll show you the right one. That's the inside of the right shoe. Just a bunch of Mickey heads. But still, like, like not a lot of detail, but, you know... I, it still looks sick. That's what I like about it. And in the back, you got my other initial up here and Walt Disney shaking Mickey's hand. Just like silhouettes, simple sunset looking thing in the background. And then you got my personal favorite right here is just, you know, Steamboat Willie. Like, and what's, what I really like about this is, I don't know if you guys can see it that well, probably. On the wheel, it, if you look up, like, a picture, like, the Steamboat Willie picture, the classic one, the wheel looks exactly the same. Like, how, like, it's kind of, like, faded looking. It looks just like that. It's awesome. And then the front's the Fantasia Mickey. You know, with the hat and all that, and the robe, and then on the tongue, Fantasia. But, and those are those. 
I love those. Ch chances are something like that won't even get worn. I'll. I've actually. I want to get like a glass case like you would see at a museum and put them in that and put those in my room back home. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that another thing that I want to say that I find I think it's really awesome is this bracelet, just a simple little, you know, thread bracelet thing. I was at work last night and a little girl, probably about 10 years old, just walks up to me and she goes, here, have a bracelet and handed it to me. And I asked her, and I was like, are you sure? Like, why do you give me a bracelet? And she, like, goes in her backpack that she had and pulled out, like, a whole Ziploc, like, one of the big Ziploc bags of them. She's like, oh, I have a lot of them. Like, way to pay it forward, kid. That's awesome. And she just, like, and it made my whole night. It was, I was having a crappy night at work. Little girl gave me a bracelet. And it made, like, the whole night better for some reason. But, so, yeah, this is gonna be my last video from Orlando. I'm going to get home, do a new pickup video because I got some Karma Loop stuff. I got, I actually just won a pair of dunks on eBay that I'm really happy about. They're kind of ironic for me to get personally because I'm terrified of birds and like any winged creature. I don't like them except like a Pegasus, I guess. But like if some, like, you know, if people know their dunks and they know what I'm talking about, Let's see if you actually know it. <clears throat> they came out like probably almost two years ago now. And the colorway of them, is, well, you know, a lot of dunks are either like really simple or like the colorway of them is crazy. These ones are pretty sick. I like them. I'll make a video of them when I get home. But, you know, other than that, my first video got a couple views on it. I'm happy about it. Because, you know, once, you know, people see stuff, it's word of mouth. It just goes out. But other than that, everybody, thanks for watching. Have a good day.